This is a quick comparative editing analysis between DaVinci Resolve 19 and Premore 13 and CapCut 3.5 Plus because Premore and CapCut pretty much look alike. And this was done for my Taco Tuesday commercial that I did for a client. For more video lessons on DaVinci Resolve, Premore, or CapCut, check out my links below. Let's get started with the Taco Man. So we're going to create that spinning logo first. I provided links to all the assets I use in this video below. Let's go ahead and hit Alt or Option plus C as in Cat. And let's make sure this fits to our screen. Now we're going to go up here to Animation because what I want to do is have this spin around 360. So just basically go up here, add an animation frame, go to the end, and up here where it says Rotate, type in 360. I'm going to export that or bounce it and then bring it back in. Let's go ahead and bounce this. Make sure you bounce it at 60 frames a second and with a high bit rate, etc. Let's go ahead and add a frame here. Now I want this to enlarge and then move it down to the end and let's make it disappear. So just scale it all the way down to zero and that will accomplish that. And now we're going to export this or bounce it and bring it back in. Now we're going to make a copy of this same clip. And let's move this over. And on this left one, we're going to reverse it. So we're going to have this. Now he's going to pop in, sit for a second, and then disappear. All we have to do here is remove the sound. And then, of course, add some speed to this. So hit Control or Command plus R. Let's go over here to Speed Bumping. I'm going to use, start with a standard flash out. And we're going to add some nodes here with something basic like this. We just want to keep it simple. Go over here to, of course, media, go down to colors, and we're going to bring in black here and pop it at the end so we know we totally fade to black. And I could adjust that, but let's do it this way. It's a lot easier. Take a dissolve transition and shorten it up. And let's see what we have. Sure, our player heads all the way to the left over here. If you don't see inspector, click on the inspector right here. Now we're going to go over here to where it says rotation angle. Make sure the play is all the way to the left. I'm going to turn on keyframing right here. It's going to turn orange. Now I'm going to take the player head and move it all the way down to the bottom. Now at this point, whatever I do here, move this keyframe is going to come on. If I want to go left with the spin, it'll go that way. Or right, it'll go that way. So we'll go left. And that's it. Now it's going to come back on. And now I play this. I'll get that. 360 degree rotation. To do a quick export of this, what I can do is go over here to where it says quick export and just bounce that just like that, export it. Taco Man. And then I can also bring that back in. 360 Taco Man. I play that back. That's what I would have. I'm going to make sure that the player head is way over here to the left. We're up here now to the zoom area. Turn on keyframing like that. Here I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to take this and drag it all the way down to the end of the clip. And here we can go frame by frame with the arrow key right there. Then I'm going to go back to zoom and go left and take it to zero. So now we'll have something like this. Back over here in DaVinci Resolve, if I have my audio and video linked together like that. I can just highlight them on link them right here, press anywhere over here, and then grab the audio. Now it's going to move and detach from the video. Press backspace, and now the audio is gone. And this is going from big to small. So I'm going to left click on the video, press the Alt key, and drag it to the right. Now I have two videos, and they're doing the same thing. I'm going to right click on the first video go up here to change clip speed and then click on reverse right here reverse speed and press change now it's going to go from small to big then it's going to go back down to small again so that's what you want to do now if I want to freeze that frame I'll go about right here I'll press control B as in boy to create a cut and that's about right I'll right click on this small clip I just cut, go to change clip speed again, and then click on freeze frame right here. Clips there, I can delete that and I don't need it. I'll grab this and drag it out. Left click here till it turns gray. Backspace to bring those clips together. Now it should stop. 
and then go back down. On the second clip, I want to just speed this up. So right click on this clip, go up here to change clip speed, type in 400. So now it's going to go away a little bit faster. And I could keyframe that too, but this is a more simple way to do it. How to get solid colors. In DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to go up here to Effects. Come down here to Generators. Go down here to Solid Color. Grab it and drop it on my timeline like that. If I click on that, it's going to be black. I can change the color there. But all we're trying to do here is just fade to black. So if we jump over here to CapCut 3.8, the newest version. So bring in your Taco Man and put him on the timeline. The first thing we're going to do is turn him 360. We'll go up here, and we have rotate right here. We'll click on the keyframe right here. It turns blue. We'll go down to the very end, just like in Filmora, and here we're going to type 360. Just like that, and enter. So if we go back to the beginning, we'll get this. And this is just like Filmora. So there's your 360. So now we can export that. Go to export. Now it's going here. We'll export that to D360. Give it a quick export right there. Now we'll bring the Taco Man back in. This is our file we just created. And we have him spinning. So now what we want to do is I want to make this go outside the frame. So I'll go up here to scale and go a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to turn on keyframing right here. Make sure it's blue. Drag this all the way down to the end on the timeline and then take my scale and turn it all the way down. Now if I go back and I play this, we'll get this. Now I want to bounce this one more time and bring it back in. Now I'm going to create a copy of this video clip. So I'm going to press the Alt key and just drag this over. So here's my copy. I want to reverse this clip now. Go up here to where it says reverse and click on that. Let that reverse. So now we'll have this. And if we want that to pause at the top so I can move it out of the way like that. And I want to take a snapshot of him right there. Then I'll go over here to this little drop down menu and I'll export a steel frame like that. Then I'll bring that steel frame back in. And that's a little bit big. So we'll control B as in boy and we'll cut that. When he gets to the top, he's going to pause for a second and then go away. So now what I want to do on this clip is speed it up. So I'll click on the second clip, go up here to speed, and this is standard speed up, and I can just speed it up like that, or maybe like that, so it looks like this, and goes away, or Control Z to undo that, go up here to speed and then curve or keyframing, and I can take one of these slow down speed up things, something like that. Do whatever you want there. But if I want to add black to the end of this, I'll go up to the import menu. I'll go down to stock media right here. These are backgrounds. I'll choose black from right here. Pop it in. We'll control B and cut that right there. Delete that. So now we'll have this. While I did leave the complete lesson for this how to commercial below, you can do this with any video editor. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand subs. Have a great, creative, and prosperous day. Peace.